Well, the first part of Yellowstone's Season 5 was a literal roller coaster. People could not wait to see what happened next. But because it took two years to roll out Part 2, it left fans with a lot of time. And what did they do with all that time? Come up with the most fascinating theories and predictions about what's going to happen in the final part of the Yellowstone series. Here are some of them. John Dutton's days are numbered. John Dutton, the toughest nails patriarch of the Dutton family, has dodged death so many times, it's almost unbelievable. Shot, attacked, and targeted by enemies left and right, John seems invincible. But we've known since the very first season that his colon cancer might be the thing that finally catches up to him. Fans are now more convinced than ever that John's death is inevitable, especially since Kevin Costner, who plays him, is confirmed to be leaving the show. The man has survived more life-threatening moments than most of us could count, but his luck seems to be running out. Could cancer be the final nail in the coffin for John Dutton? Or will something or someone else beat his disease to it? Either way, his death seems like the perfect dramatic twist to wrap up the series. The idea of the ranch without John Dutton is unthinkable, but at this point, it seems like it's exactly where things are heading. Jamie's power play for the governor's seat. Jamie Dutton, who once seemed like a loyal and mild-mannered son, is done playing nice. Season 5 revealed his ambitions, and they are bigger than ever. Jamie has turned into a power-hungry politician, and now, with the help of Sarah Atwood, he's aiming for the biggest move yet, impeaching his own father, John, from his role as Montana's governor. Jamie's resentment towards his family has simmered for years, but now, with Sarah whispering in his ear and his political savvy growing, he's gearing up to take John down. John's questionable decisions, like pardoning Summer Higgins and butting heads with market equities, have given Jamie the ammunition he needs. A successful impeachment would be Jamie's ultimate power play, and it's starting to look more and more like it could happen. Beth won't let Jamie's betrayal slide. Let's be real, Beth Dutton is not one to sit back and let things happen. And Jamie's recent plot to hire an assassin to take her out? That's a line that can't be crossed. The sibling rivalry between these two has always been explosive, but now it's about to get deadly. Beth has already hinted that she's not afraid to send Jamie to the train station, and if she catches wind of his assassination plans, you can bet she'll strike first. Beth's instincts have kept her one step ahead of Jamie so far, and the tension between them is at a fever pitch. The question is, who will make the first move, and will Jamie survive it? Sarah Atwood, the ultimate betrayer. Sarah Atwood is playing a dangerous game. Jamie might think he's in control, but Sarah's manipulations are clear as day to anyone watching. She's not with Jamie because she cares about him. She's with him to dismantle the Dutton family. Working for market equities, Sarah has no genuine interest in Jamie's political aspirations or personal ambitions. She's got one goal, weaken the Duttons, and Jamie is just a pawn in her plan. Theories are swirling that as soon as Sarah's mission is complete, she'll toss Jamie aside like yesterday's news. He may think he's finally in control, but when Sarah betrays him, it could leave him utterly broken and vulnerable. Casey's Breaking Point Casey Dutton has always had one foot in the Dutton family's world and one foot out. His heart has never fully been with the ranch, and after Monica's tragic miscarriage, fans are speculating that her potential death could be the final push Casey needs to walk away forever. Monica's endured more than her fair share of trauma, and if she dies, it's hard to imagine Casey staying loyal to his family. His vision quest, where he foresaw the end of us, has been hanging over his head. And if this vision involves Monica's death, Casey might finally turn his back on the Duttons. He could leave the ranch behind to live a quieter life on the reservation with his son Tate. A merger between the Yellowstone Ranch and the Native Reservation. Speaking of Tate, let's talk about a theory that fans are excited about. Tate, being part Native American and part Dutton, is in a unique position to unite two worlds. Some fans believe that the future of the Yellowstone Ranch might lie in its merger with the Broken Rock Reservation. Could this be the endgame for the Dutton legacy? 
John Dutton has always had a complicated relationship with Thomas Rainwater and the reservation, but he's shown respect for their way of life. If John's death leads to chaos in the family, Tate might be the bridge between these two communities. It would be a symbolic return of the land to its original stewards, and the idea of Tate inheriting the ranch feels like a powerful way to bring the story full circle. Now imagine this. The Yellowstone Ranch, instead of being sold off to corporations or falling into enemy hands, gets preserved as a national park or nature reserve. This idea has been floating around fan circles, and it makes a lot of sense. John Dutton has always been about protecting the land, and what better way to ensure its survival than by placing it in public trust? Turning the ranch into a nature reserve could be John's way of securing its future, even if the Dutton family no longer controls it. Sure, they might lose their grip on the land, but it would still be protected from the clutches of corporations like market equities. This theory ties in perfectly with John's deep connection to the land and his desire to preserve its legacy, even if it means making some major sacrifices. Rip's discovery. Here's a theory that's been brewing for a while. Walker, the mysterious cowboy with a criminal past, might have a connection to Jamie. Fans have speculated that Walker could be Jamie's half-brother, which would explain his deep disdain for the Dutton family. If Rip, John's most loyal enforcer, uncovers this secret, it's bound to lead to a major confrontation. Rip has always been protective of the Duttons, especially John, and discovering that Walker is tied to Jamie could spell the end for the wandering cowboy. Walker has been skating on thin ice for a while, and if this connection is real, his fate might already be sealed. A civil war between Jamie and Beth. Jamie and Beth's rivalry has always been intense, but now it's on the brink of erupting into an all-out war. Both siblings are ready to do whatever it takes to destroy the other, and fans are convinced that only one will make it out alive. Jamie's betrayal of their father, his impeachment plot, and his willingness to hire an assassin have pushed Beth to the edge. On the other hand, Beth's relentless hatred and manipulation of Jamie have left him desperate for revenge. It's clear that the final season is building up to a deadly showdown between these two, and no matter who comes out on top, it's going to be bloody. Market Equities Final Strike Market Equities have been a thorn in the Dutton side from the start, and with John's power crumbling, they're ready to strike back. The corporation has suffered major losses due to John's interference as governor, but now, with his political career on the line, they're gearing up for a final attack. The ranch itself, the heart of the Dutton legacy, might be the final battleground. Market Equities wants the land for its own purposes, and with the family weakened, this could be their chance to take it all. If John's impeachment succeeds or his health fails him, the Duttons may not have the strength to hold on to the Yellowstone Ranch. Market Equities could seize the opportunity to acquire the land for their airport development. The battle between the Duttons and Market Equities has been building for seasons, and fans are starting to think that the corporate takeover of the ranch is inevitable. Could this be the end of the Yellowstone as we know it? Legal Trouble Over the Yellowstone Wolves' Deaths The deaths of Yellowstone Park wolves, orchestrated by the ranch's cowboys, have come back to haunt the Duttons. Environmental groups are up in arms, and the scandal could turn into a major legal issue for John. If John somehow survives impeachment, this controversy might be the final straw that takes him down. The wolves' deaths symbolize the larger forces closing in on the Dutton family, from environmentalists to corporate giants, and could lead to John's ultimate downfall. The ranch's financial struggles could lead to its downfall. This is something that's been haunting the Duttons for a while now financial trouble. In the mid-season finale, we learned that John Dutton's cattle had contracted brucellosis, a disease that could be disastrous for the ranch. To avoid further spread, John made the tough call to move the herd to Texas. But this decision came with a hefty price tag, over a million dollars per month. That's a financial strain that even a powerhouse like John Dutton might not be able to bear for long. Fans are speculating that this cattle crisis could be the final straw that breaks the ranch's back. With John also dealing with political issues, the mounting expenses might just tip the scales, pushing the Dutton family toward financial collapse. Could this be how the Dutton Empire finally falls? 
The idea of the Yellowstone Ranch crumbling under the weight of financial burden is a theory that's gaining serious traction. Casey's vision could foreshadow the end of the Duttons. Remember Casey's vision quest from earlier in the series? The one where he saw two possible paths for his future, one of which led to the end of us. Well, fans haven't forgotten about it, and many believe that this cryptic message could be a warning about the downfall of the Dutton family. Casey has always had a complicated relationship with his family, and his vision seemed to hint at the disintegration of the Dutton dynasty. Whether it's because of internal family conflict, financial ruin, or both, this theory suggests that the Dutton's time is running out. Could Casey's vision be the key to understanding how it all ends? Jamie's Betrayal Jamie Dutton is no stranger to betrayal, and it seems like he's ready to fully embrace his role as the family's black sheep. In Season 5, Jamie's alliance with Sarah Atwood shows just how far he's willing to go to gain power, even if it means aligning himself with John's enemies. Fans are speculating that Jamie's thirst for control could push him to team up with anyone who can help him achieve his goals, even if it means betraying his family completely. This theory paints Jamie as a man willing to do whatever it takes to seize power, and his partnership with market equities could be the final nail in the Dutton's coffin.